Question: I'd like to ask, why does merit wholesomeness, punya kusala, precede merit, punya? Answer: Because kusala precedes punya. What does kusala mean? This is what you have to understand first. Kusala means cleverness. What is cleverness? It is wisdom, banya. Kusala is wisdom. Remember this well now. As for the question about why kusala precedes banya, it is because wisdom, banya, is cleverness. It has been someone who seeks a way to continue to make merit, banya. If someone does not have wisdom within them, even if they have money in the millions or billions, they will not know how to take all of that money and make merit with it. Or even if they know how to chant and pay homage to the Buddha, if they do not have wisdom within them, they will not want to pay homage. This is lacking wisdom. If only wisdom is lacking, other things will be damaged as a consequence. There is no desire to do them. Kusala is a big topic. It is where all merit, bunya, originates. That is, it is an issue of wisdom, bunya. This is an issue of wholesomeness of the sensuous plane, gama vajala kusala, about making merit. In other words, right view. Samatiti, of the noble eightfold path. Now, the noble eightfold path, right view, samatiti, right thought, samma sankapa, and so on. It's both kusala of the sensual plane, gama vajala kusala, and kusala to transcend the world, yoga vajala kusala. It is about wisdom, as the wisdom of the sensual plane, when making merit and giving charitably. Dana, in order to earn a castle in heaven, that is an issue of wisdom in making merit. Now, wisdom to contemplate higher levels of dharma in order to attain release from mental intoxications, asava, and defilements, kilesa, is also a matter of wisdom, banya. Thus, wisdom is an important foundation. It is a critical foundation when it comes to making merit in various ways. You must rely on the aforementioned wisdom, banya. Banya means clever or stratagem, or what is called kusala. Kusala is wisdom, banya. It is cleverness. If someone possesses cleverness, making merit will be easy. Giving alms or upholding the precepts will be doable. Worldly tasks will also be doable. This is if someone possesses cleverness. Now. What if someone doesn't possess wisdom, banya? Even if there is work right in front of them, they are unable to do anything. Suppose they were to walk from here to a forest near home or near this temple here, they could walk. But if they didn't possess wisdom, if they were to see a dried log in the path, they wouldn't think, "What could I do with this dried log?" They wouldn't think of it. They would walk right past it. See. They wouldn't think of how that dried log could be used for some purpose. There is no understanding, no know-how. That is, there is no cleverness. If someone already possesses cleverness, the instant they see the dried log, they will think, "Hmm, this dried log could be used for kindling, for cooking. That would benefit me. It could be used to build a fire for warmth." They would take that dry log and build a fire, and reap the benefits. Unlike someone who doesn't possess wisdom, someone who doesn't possess wisdom can only squat and defecate all over it and leave. There is no benefit. With something this simple, someone with wisdom will already know. Someone with wisdom will recognize the benefit in the things they see. If they see a tree, there is benefit in the tree. If they see various things, there is benefit in those things. Kusala in making merit. Bunya, it's the same way. If you already possess wisdom, making merit is easy. See, wisdom precedes merit. Question: How is it different from cultivating bunya kusala? Answer: They are just reversed. Bunya kusala or kusala bunya, they are the same. It is like saying dad and mom or mom and dad. In reality, kusala precedes bunya. Use this point as your basis. Question: 
would it lead to different results? Answer. There is no difference. If you have established wisdom as the basis, there is no difference. This is the only basis. It's merely saying it in reverse. It is simply using wisdom as the basis in creating merit, in cultivating merit, for happiness to arise. You must cultivate merit, whether in a worldly sense or dharma sense. Wisdom, banya, always comes first. Understand this accordingly now.